Yo, what's good, YouTube? So guys, today is an interesting day. I have to tell you, I know I've been uh, out, of, uh, out of sight for a little while. But right now, um, I am driving to a FCA dealership. And uh, it looks like I am going to be signing the paperwork on a 2015 Hellcat Challenger Sublime Green uh, six-speed manual, 13,000 miles, um, lowered on, on uh, Eibach uh, Springs, um, some nice cosmetic mods to it, beautiful, immaculate, been taken care of, been babied, um, a beautiful, beautiful car, man. Um, and it actually belonged to a buddy of mine who actually works at the dealership. And he gave me a heads up, man, about last weekend saying, hey, man, uh, you know, you interested in my Hellcat? And he was looking to sell it privately. And I was like, well, man, I, yeah, I'm definitely interested in your car, bro. But um, I have my own car here. I got to trade it in. I don't want to private sell mine and then do yours. I mean, that's just like messy. So I told him, I was like, look, you know, I'm not, I don't really have the time to take that on. Um, but if you wind up trading it in, because he told me his situation, he'd be, you know, he's looking to buy a car that's at his dealership. And I said, you know, if you wind up trading it in, man, let me know. So he let me know and I got an early jump on it and I reached out to them a few days ago. And um, I gotta say, man, it's been pretty smooth. You know, they started out and I wasn't negotiating with him, um, of course, uh, he was pretty removed from it, but with the sales team there, and. You know, they kind of came out of the gate, you know, in typical fashion, you know, they kind of shoot high, here's what we'd you know, like to get, and here's what we'll give you for yours. And, uh, you know, basically, you know, we kind of just had an honest conversation about like, look, you know, I mean, I'm not looking for any favors because of, uh, you know, my man here. Um, but at the same time, like, I'm, I'm serious, and, you know, I kind of know how this works. So here's, here's where I'm at, you know, here's where my budget is. Um, here, um, is what I you know would want to be doing for financing if you can do that cool here's what my credit union can do if you can match that I'll go with you if not I'm gonna go with them and um, that's that and then we from there we just worked on the pricing and they dropped the price a bit on the asking uh, price of the vehicle and they shot up my my trade-in value for mine I have to say they're actually giving me a, a good price for my um, SRT. I've gotten this thing appraised now five times, I think, maybe six times. I think this might've been the sixth time. And the highest amount that I got offered, serious offer, is actually what they're giving me. So another dealership offered me the same thing too, but their car was not one that I wanted. But in any case, man, we're, we're all good. So I'm dealing with my credit union. Um, they actually could not match the rate. Um, that I wanted for financing. The deal is very fair. I have to say that, you know, one thing I mentioned in a couple of my previous videos on this topic, you know, my shopping here has been, you know, you get what you pay for, you know, and I'm especially seeing that uh, as I shift six speed manual while holding the phone with the Hellcats, man, because, you know, they advertise cars online and those are really the rock bottom prices. I mean, I have found, especially with the Hellcat, you know, they offer these low prices to reel you in and then you go there and you're expecting there to be more downward, you know, momentum. And there's some, but not a lot, you know? And so um, what winds up happening here is, you know, you can get frustrated really easily, especially if you, your expectations are, are, are unreal or are unrealistic, should I say. And for certain, for certain, I've had a couple of those instances myself here, you know, where I have, um, like expected, oh, you know, I should be able to move down like two grand here. And it's been like, no, you can't, you know, you can move it down like 700. And, you know, so that was an interesting wake up call for me because uh, in the past I've been able to, to do a bit more. And um, same thing here too. I didn't get the asking price down that much, but again, I was very satisfied with the, the trade-in that uh, amount that, that they offered and that they're going to give me here. So uh, is this it or is it the next one? Okay. Um, I'm on my way there. I'm like literally ready to pull in. So that's the deal guys. Um, so at this point, man, we've just got to go in. I got to make sure that everything that we have agreed uh, upon so far is in writing 
and then we'll go from there and then uh, gonna run up the road probably uh, in the Hellcat um, with the salesman and go pick up the check and uh, it'll be a really really nice start to what is gonna be a beautiful weekend and look at that there it is it's sitting out front waiting for me already <laughs> I can't wait to show it to you guys. I can't wait. This is going to be so sick. Oh, man. Remember me telling you guys in a couple videos ago, man, when I buy my Hellcat, I want to be psyched. I want to be like, hell yeah, man. This is what I want. This is what I want, guys. This is what I want. All right, guys. I'll see you in a second. Dirty, they got a prepper yet. Some of you guys may know this car from Instagram, Sublime Thundercat. That's my buddy. Soon to be called something else. I can say I know it well. A sick drop on it. Oh, he's still got his plates on. Right, guys I'm on the drive home first drive clutch is way different than my 392 I mean I've driven these before but just much heavier than what I'm used to the supercharger wine man just makes me giggle dude it's just an awesome experience this car has got the Eibach uh, kit on it too so it's it's not only lower but you can definitely feel the road a bit more which is cool it just feels raw the inside is really nice it was kept really nicely I'm psyched man I'm like really <laughs> that wine it's so funny man I love it I'm like a kid man straight up kid on his birthday what's up kids what's up what do you think of the new car great what do you think Coco Oh yeah, we're taking the Hellcat. No, we're taking the Bark Mobile. <laughs> Kids approved. That's cool. All right, guys. So that's a wrap with this video. Uh, you guys are gonna have to forgive me. I know the footage on this video wasn't the best, and it's honestly, guys. Um, I just gotta be real with you, man. It was just so. I was so excited um, to be actually taking this step and to be getting myself into this car and you know just with signing the paperwork and just dealing with everything man that honestly like trying to get all like the wide angles and and getting the full picture of the car while it's actually there at the dealership and like you know shooting video of myself like signing and all that other type of stuff it was honestly the last thing in my mind man i was just kind of sitting there just sort of like giggling <laughs> the whole time doing it's like i can't believe i'm doing this this is so amazing and um i hope the video captured some of that you know um it just wasn't pre-planned I just sort of whipped out the phone was like all right man let's capture as much of this as I can so I could share it with you guys um, I want to thank many of you for just weighing in you know I've done probably I don't know eight nine videos maybe more uh, focusing on my hunt for this car and uh, a bunch of you have weighed in um, back and forth with different different types of suggestions and your thoughts and you know observations about what you're seeing in your area and all that and uh, I just really enjoyed the adventure. And the cool thing is, is that, you know, the hunt for the Hellcat may be over, but sort of the next steps um, with this car um, are yet to be um, determined. And, but there is going to be something, a lot to share with you guys. Um, if you guys go uh, on my channel, 
you will see, if you dig into my channel back to some videos that I posted back in the summer of 2017, you'll see there's a series of videos that I did with my son called Donuts in the Dodge. And this is like, they're like five webisodes that are like 10 minutes, 15 minutes long or so, where it basically documents me and my kid going out and like just doing car stuff, you know, going to dealerships, going to car shows. Uh, actually, we have one episode called John Rides the Hellcat, which is where John gets to ride in a Hellcat for the first time. Um, and uh, it happens to be this actual car, which is pretty amazing how things just sort of go full circle. But uh, anyway, we're gonna be rebooting it. He wants to do uh, a reboot of it. We're gonna do Donuts in the Dodge sort of 2.0, you know, the Hellcat chapter. So it should be a lot of fun, man, this summer, just doing a lot of, um, shooting a lot of video, going, doing some different adventures, doing some road trips, um, not just with my son, but um, I know my brother and I wanna hit the road and, uh, and do some cool stuff too, man. So again, uh, sorry for footage being maybe not quite the best uh, with the last couple of videos, man, but uh, I've just been living in the moment, man, just living in the moment, and uh, I hope you all enjoyed it. So. Thanks again, guys. Until the next time, which will be very soon, I'll talk to you then. Later.